FBI says three companies in the upstate are part of the one of the largest Medicare fraud schemes in the agency's history. The investigation is called Operation Brace Yourself, and we're told it's centered around back and neck braces billed to Medicare. Authorities say patients were given inferior quality products, while Medicare was charged extra money. Charges have been brought against a man from Mount Pleasant and 14 companies. Three of those businesses are in the upstate. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell paid visits to those companies today. She's here live at 7 on Main right now with what she found out. Ann. Amy Tom, it appears one of those companies is still in business in Taylor's. The other two companies, which are in Greer, don't appear to be operating anymore. In a quiet office park in Greer, Suite 3B stands empty. According to a national provider database, this should be the site of D2 Medical, a company owned by Andrew Camille, who was recently indicted for allegedly ripping off taxpayers to the tune of $200 million. Thomas Niblo works across the street. Quite interesting, um, because I certainly, you wouldn't have guessed that something fishy was going on. People who work nearby told me they didn't recall a business by the name of D2 being in that suite. Did you ever notice any sign on the door over there? I did not. According to employees in this complex, the suite was occupied by an aviation parts company until recently. And Taylor's in-home senior care is another durable medical equipment or DME company indicted in the fraud scheme. We went by during business hours Tuesday, but no one appeared to be there. Lights are off inside, it looks like. A worker at a nearby company said they've seen just one employee coming and going from in-home senior care. According to U.S. attorneys, this is one of the companies that charged Medicare for equipment that patients may not have needed. Up to around $200 million, again related to the payments of kickbacks and bribes in exchange for allegedly medically unnecessary DME orders. Neck braces, back braces, knee braces. The third upstate company indicted is Wren Senior Services in Greer, which is also known as Dogwood Medical. Online records show that company was dissolved in 2017. We were unable to find the people who are the registered agents for in-home senior care and REM senior care. So this is a big deal, right? $200 million of this kind of alleged fraud going on, but it's only a piece of the pie, right? There's a bigger picture? That's right. It's near a billion dollars in fraud nationally, but wow. South Carolina is more than 20% of that. Ann Maxwell on the story. Thank you.